So instead, we're going to take the roll settings and put it at 45 degrees. And then since we're adding another set of transitions in, we should increase the time, which will make it be less stressful on the riders. And then we'll click Add New Section. And as you can see, it sort of gets uh, curled up in a weird way, which means that we don't want to put it exactly like that. So let's bring the G's down and we'll make this be a nice little floater curve. So we subtract about 4.2 G's and we'll make this be a little bit bigger. And down here we can see the meters per second at the start and the end and 4.4704 meters per second is equal to 10 miles an hour. So we can sort of guess that 19.606 meters per second is about 50 miles an hour, a little bit less. So we've got a 50 mile an hour curve where we're pulling about zero G's and have this nice curve and we can make this last for a while and that'll bring us down and then we'll add a new section and bring the G's back up a bit and just make it increase by 3.7 this time and move to get a better view. Let's take off the roll now. And so we subtract 45. And since we're rotating, we should add a little bit more time onto it. I put it up to 1.3. And it looks like we've got plenty of room, so let's make this be even longer. And two seconds. It's a little bit low, so I'll make it be 1.9. So now we've got a bit of a top hat and we've got a nice little ejector curve. And now we're going to try and put in a zero G roll. And these can be quite difficult to make and get them to be a good shape. Now we're sort of running out of room on this side. So instead of the zero G roll right there, we're going to flip it over by 140 degrees and we'll increase the segment length and to 1.6 and then we'll add another section now it's sort of curling down in a weird way so we're going to bring it back to zero So then set the roll settings to negative 40 and then increase the time zone. And that's making it be a little bit too far curved that way. So we'll decrease it to 1.7. And now With this next segment, we're going to take the normal settings and we're going to subtract 3.5, which will make it be zero. Then we'll add a few seconds to it. 
So it'll be up more. Then we add a new section and set the roll to negative 360. That makes it go a complete revolution. And then for these rolls, I find it's good to give them about 2.5 seconds. And we're looking a little bit lopsided over here. So we can do a few things. We can try making the lead-in smaller, and that's not going to work, or make it bigger. And that looks like we've got a pretty decent roll. And that looks pretty good. So I've moved the time section up to 2.1. And we can get another look at it from over here. And an even better thing, we can click Show Heartline and Show Shadows. That'll let us know where things are. And the bars show the heartline. And we can see it's pretty good heartline through there. Should run pretty smoothly. Then we will add a new section. And then we want to point it back towards our uh, start. So let's just make a very, very small segment that's just 0.2 seconds and don't make any other changes to it. And then add a new section. Then bring the G's back up to 3.5 and put a roll of 30 degrees and add a new section and we're sort of colliding over here so one thing we can try is to make this segment actually be a little bit longer so what I just did was I took this segment which has the banking and I put that up to 1.3 for the time and that makes it so that it's curved just a little bit lower than that and then we'll add a new section and let's add a corkscrew now with the corkscrew you don't put it to zero you have to keep it up and it needs to start by being angled upwards and then we increase the time zone to three, no, that's coming out a little bit too big we can do a few things so what I just did was I put the time zone for this segment to two seconds I added 360 degrees of roll and I subtracted one from the vertical G's and then we press new segment and need to get it pointed a little bit more towards that So we'll increase the normal data by 1.5 and then we'll add a little bit more roll. We'll add negative 35 and we'll increase this time zone to 1.3 and then we will take the G's, the vertical G's and stick them to negative uh, 0.7 and then we will put the roll back to zero which means a 65 degree roll